Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bhargavi Rawal and today I am going to show you how to convert a 10 head mechanical croquis into a 5 inch, a 10 inch and a 12 and a half inch croquis. So let's start first with a mechanical croquis. So what I am doing over here is I am making a 10 inch line. Okay, this is 10 inch and what I'm doing is I'm marking one one inches so this is my zero this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so this is a ten head croquet starting first with ten inch line so when I say zero to one one becomes my one head so it's a ten head croquet 10 head croquis where one head is the proportion is one head is equal to one inch now this is the trick this is the most important thing you need to understand that how the proportion is taken now uh, the whole 10 head croquis 10 head croquis could be converted into a 10 inch croquis it could be converted into a, a 5 inch croquis it could be converted into 20 inch croquis it could even be converted into 20 feet croquis what do you mean by 20 feet croquis it's as good as a big ball okay now what we do is we stick to the proportion so whatever my uh, inches could vary my one head has to go exactly according to the proportion so since it is a one inch croquis what i've done is i've done a 10 inch that is 10 head one inch is equal to my one head and i'm marking all my heads so starting first with zero to one that becomes my first head i go one fourth inch down so I measure it this is almost one fourth inch so on one fourth inch i go down and i draw a straight line for neck at one fourth inch what I do is I go one one inches on both the side so that goes for my shoulder marking so what happens is how broad is your shoulder your shoulder is almost two heads so if this is my head my shoulder is almost two head understanding the proportion that is very important now coming to three wait i'll erase off these lines okay coming to three three is the waistline my one one fourth is the shoulder okay now three is the waistline your shoulder and the waistline the proportion is half so if my shoulder is two head my waist is going to be only one head so if 0 to 1 is the head, my waistline is almost 1 head. So equidistance, so half up inches on both the side at 3. And then joining the shoulder to the waistline. This gives me my upper torso. Now my proportion would always be the same. Even if I convert it into a 12 head croquis or if I convert it into a uh, 12 inch croquis or I convert it into a 5 inch croquis. My proportion remains the same. That is my waistline is always going to be one head. My shoulder is always going to be two heads. Okay, coming to four. Four is the hip line. Now your bust line and hip line is almost the same. So when you measure this, this is almost two centimeters. So or you can measure how much ever inches that is that is almost one uh, almost three fourth an inch so you measure exactly that and then measure it over here or what you can do is draw a straight line from here so your bust line and your waist line, uh, hip line is almost the same okay so that's how you do it two centimeters you see it it's almost four centimeter right so that goes for your hip line now coming to four this is five this is six seven eight nine 
10. Okay, come directly to 9 1 fourth. I'll show you. This is 9 and this is 9 1 fourth. At one, 9 1 fourth, go almost 1 fourth inch on both the sides. So. And then join the hip line to the ankle line. Now 9 1 fourth is your ankle. Join this line and this line. That becomes your ankles. And then the shape out for the sorry. Okay, now this proportion, this is the most important thing. Your six and a half. I measured it. So this is almost six and a half. Goes for your knee. Okay, this is my ten head croquis. And over here, I've converted into ten inch croquis. Ten inch croquis. Now the proportion is the same. If I want to convert it into a 5 inch croquis, okay, I'll show you. The times when you do miniature sketch, there are times when you do very large sketch, again the proportion remains the same. Okay, now how do I convert it into a 5 inch croquis? So one head is equal to one in, uh, half an inch in this case. Okay, so over here, my one head is equal to half inch. Over here, it was one head is equal to one inch. In this case, one head is equal to half an inch. So, zero to what you know is the head. You go down just a bit, almost like half of one fourth inch. Take half of inch over here because your one head is equal to half inch so that goes for your shoulder proportion remains the same two is a bust line three is a waistline so total is your one half so one fourth inch on both the sides right i'm joining the lines you measure your this is almost 2 cm, so 1 1 cm on both the sides for your hip. Sorry, this is on slant. Joining the waistline and the hip line. Joining the waistline and the hip line. Coming to 9 1 fourth. Just going half of one fourth inch and joining the lines. So my proportion has to be exactly the same. Coming to let's say a 12 head croquis. Okay, I'm starting with a 12 and a half inch croquis. Now, for a 12 and a half inch croquis, your one head becomes, one head is equal to one, one fourth inch. So, what I'm doing is I'm measuring all my inches. So, first zero to one is head. So, here my first head is going to, is going, going to be at one, one fourth. My second head is going to be at two and a half. My third head is going to be at 3 3 fourth. my fourth head is going to be at 5 so what I'm doing is at, instead of taking 1 1 inches I'm taking 1 1 fourth inch ka interval so as simple as that after 5 let's say 1 and a half 1 1 fourth inch over here again adding 1 1 fourth inch over here I'm just simplifying it for a complete layman okay I cannot simplify more than this. One and a half, one fourth inch, one fourth inch, one fourth inch. So here again, one one fourth inch. So that's how you have your almost twelve and a half head croquis. Understood? So zero to one is the head. I'll stick to the same proportion. 
This is my one one fourth. Okay, going down one fourth approximately one fourth slightly more than one fourth inch for the shoulder again the proportion remains the same one fourth inch on both the sides okay so one fourth inch over here and one fourth inch over here and then you just join the line so my shoulder would be at one almost one and a half because one fourth inch I've gone down my two the second head is going to be at two and a half okay my three the waistline is going to be at three three fourth sorry so over here I'll go half uh, here you go one head on both the side waistline is half a head on both the side so almost Three fourth inches. Three fourth inches on both sides. So three fourth inches over here. Joining the lines. Then measure your bust line. This is almost more than two centimeters, two and a half centimeters. So the same thing goes over here. I'll stick to the same proportion. Measure the bust and then accordingly draw the waistline and the hip line. My proportion, the upper block is ready. Coming to Nine one fourth. This is my four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So go till nine one fourth, and then approximately a bit more than one fourth inch out, and then. So that's the proportion for your 12 and a half head croquis, 12 and a half inch croquis. One head is equal to one fourth inch. What I've done is for every one head, every one inch, I've increased one fourth. So that's how I get my 12 head croquis. I'll still write down the measurement. My zero to one is at one one fourth. 2 is at 2 and a half, 3 is at 3, 3, 4, 5 is at uh, 4 is at 5, 5 is at 6, 1, 4, Sixth head, sixth head is at 7 and a half, 7th head is at 8, eight 3, 4, 10, 11 1 fourth and 12 and a half so I hope this method is understood nicely this proportion is very important and once you learn this proportion then you really can't go wrong I'll draw a 12 head croquis for you So if I'm drawing a 12 and a half inch croquis, 12 and a half, starting first with 0 to 1, 1 fourth, 0 to 1, 1 fourth goes for the head, 2 and a half is my second head, 3, 3 fourth is the waistline third head is the waistline which is at three three fourth two is 
second head is the bust line which is at two and a half my fourth head is the hip line which is at five inches okay so this proportion is very important zero to one is the headline what I'll do is to do a pose I will not really mark the lines I'll just do approximately the Let's say my neckline is this way. I'll stick to the proportion. Because it's a pose, there would be slight changes. Given the hip line over here, the upper body, stick to the shoulder proportion. Once you get a hang of a shoulder proportion, it becomes easier. line is going this way I've done many uh, videos on how to draw the pose so that should be helpful for you and let's say draw the body line draw the bone line Again, my six and a half, I've kept it as knee. You can slightly smoothen the curve. Similarly, the hands, I'll draw the bone line first. See, as simple as that. And then just rubbing off the unwanted lines but stick to the proportion once you get your proportion correct your uh, pose will automatically look better and correct yeah. 